killing yourself. You convince yourself it's okay to kill yourself. Am I convinced myself? You're just, you're just, you're exhibit, uh, what do we have, C or D? Exhibit C or D now of someone who actually believes that that which is good is evil. Or that which is evil is good. out to the other side of the street because you're fucking stupid. How am I sitting if I'm preaching what he told me to preach? Have you read the Bible? See, the problem is you guys have the God of your imagination. You don't have the God of the Bible. That's why we have gay churches. We have gay churches in Toronto. Somebody has the audacity to claim that God said it's okay to be gay. When the Bible is explicitly clear. The Bible is explicitly clear. So who are you trying to get? Are you trying to fool yourself? Don't take Jesus' name into your fleshly lifestyle. There's even a what? A weed church. See, there's another example. There's a beer church. In the U.S., there's a mixed martial arts where you can punch out your friend after the service church in the U.S. There's nonsense all over the place. Okay? No, God isn't abandoning you. You've abandoned God. Your sin has separated you from God, the Bible says. Your selfish will doesn't line up with God's will. See, there's God's will and your will, and you're butting heads with God. I mean, is it going to be really worth it if you lose your soul over smoking a joint at 420? Is it going to be worth burning in hell? Is it going to be worth burning in hell to gratify the lust of your flesh and just give in to whatever fleshly desire you have? I mean, can I just kill someone because I feel like it? When somebody makes me mad, can I just go, well, that's what I feel like doing, so I just, I'm going to go with it. No, we don't do that. We have a conscience. We have a conscience. See, God gave you a conscience. That's why he can damn you. That's why he can send you to hell, but he doesn't want you to go to hell. That's why he sends me in seven day of preaching the gospel. We're here to love you today. We're here to warn our neighbors. We're here to warn our neighbors. The Bible says, don't suffer your neighbor to be in sin, but rebuke your neighbor. But today we have people saying love is to not judge anybody. That love is to not make a judgment. But the Bible says, long before you ever existed, that God says to judge someone righteously is love. To tell somebody that they're wrong is love. Long before you ever existed, thousands of years ago, the Bible has endured mankind for thousands of years. And you're a little blip. You're a little blip on the radar. You're a little blip on the radar and you have the audacity to talk back to God even though you're you're enjoying the sunshine that God made. Even though you're enjoying the peaceful country that you live in that God that the Bible has established. You know Canada is established on the word of God. That's why you have the freedoms you have today. The freedoms you have today is because of the Holy Bible. You wouldn't have the freedoms you have today if you were 